Ever wonder how the Romans built those incredible aqueducts, those massive stone highways for water that stretched four miles? You might picture grand construction sites with thousands of workers and towering arches. But the real story of the aqueducts didn't start with a single block of stone or a blueprint. It started much smaller, much quieter, with a humble search for the perfect drop of water. Before any grand engineering plans were drawn up, Roman surveyors, known as librators, would venture out into the hills and valleys surrounding the city. Their mission was simple but crucial. Find a reliable, pure, and abundant source of water. They weren't just looking for any stream or river. They were looking for the perfect spring. Imagine them walking through the landscape in the quiet light of early morning. Not with heavy tools, but with keen senses. They would listen for the faint, trickling sound of water moving just beneath the earth. They'd look for specific types of vegetation that only grow where there's constant moisture, a telltale sign of a hidden spring. Once they found a potential source, the real test began. They didn't have modern labs, so they relied on their own experience. They would taste the water, judging its mineral content and purity. Was it sweet? Was it clear? Did it leave any residue? They would observe its flow, not just for a day, but through all the seasons. A truly great spring had to be resilient. It needed to flow steadily even in the driest summer droughts and remain clear and uncontaminated after heavy winter storms. It had to prove its worth over time, showing that it was a source that could be depended on for generations. They would even study the health of the local people and animals who drank from that spring. If they were strong and healthy, it was a good sign that the water was life-giving. Only after a spring passed all these rigorous, natural tests, did Rome commit its vast resources to the monumental task of guiding that precious water home? That's when the engineering marvels we know today began to take shape. The surveyors would meticulously plot a course, always aiming for a gentle, consistent downward slope, sometimes tunneling through mountains and bridging valleys to maintain that perfect gradient. So, the next time you see a picture of a Roman aqueduct, remember that its journey began long before the first arch was built. It started with a patient search, with listening to the earth, and with respecting the power of a single, perfect spring. From that one small, carefully chosen source, a system was born that nourished a city, powered an empire, and left a legacy that still inspires us thousands of years later. It's a powerful reminder that the grandest achievements often have the most humble beginnings. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this journey back in time, don't forget to like and subscribe for more stories behind the world's greatest wonders.